Hello everyone, welcome to the MCDSP YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the EC300 Echo Collection, with a focus on the SIMs in the digital delay type. Let's get into it. The EC300 Echo Collection by MCDSP has three unique delay types, magnetic, analog, and digital. Each one offers a few unique parameters that you won't find in the other delay types. A good example of this is the SIM section in the digital delay type which is not featured in the magnetic or analog delay types. These SIMs, or synthetic impulse models, are from the classic MCDSP plugin known as Futzbox. They give the user the ability to run their delayed signal through a variety of different impulse models that are modeled after everything from a vacuum cleaner tube to a fax machine. There are over 90 of these to choose from, so the possibilities are endless. Let's talk about how to use the SIM section of the EC300's digital delay type, and then we'll hear it in action on some guitars. To view the SIM section of the EC300, click on the SIM tab within the window at the top of the plugin's interface. Before you start dialing in the plugin, ensure that the SIM enable button is set to on, as it is off by default and you won't hear its effects at all in this state. To do this, simply click on the button that says off. To the right of the SIM Enable button is the SIM Position Control. By default, it's set to Post, which means that the sound of the SIM will be applied to your delayed signal after it's already passed through the feedback loop of the EC300. However, clicking on where it says Post will change the SIM position to Loop, which means that the sound of the SIM will be applied from within the feedback loop. You'll notice that, after changing the SIM position to Loop, an additional control appears called SIM Feedback Reduction. This control is perfect for resolving potential feedback issues that may arise from using some SIMs with the SIM position set to loop. Lastly, to change the SIM loaded into the EC300, simply click the drop-down menu underneath SIM Character and then select the SIM you'd like to use from the menu that appears. To alter the SIM without opening this menu, simply click the up or down arrows located to the right of the SIM name. Now let's hear what the EC300 SIM section can do. In this example, I have double-tracked guitars routed as a send to the EC300. First, I'll play these guitars without any processing from the plugin. Then I'll turn on the plugin, but leave the SIM section off, and then I'll turn on the SIM section. Let's solo the delayed signal and flip through a few different sims. After that, I'll bring in the drag guitar so you can hear how they mix together. Like I said before, there are over 90 sims in the EC300 and a plethora of controls to play around with, so feel free to experiment to your heart's content, because we've only really scratched the surface here. That's it for today. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more MIG DSP tips and content, and we will see you next time.